Hey guys, Terry with Computer Pro. Um, uh, this is the E550W Brother printer. It's pretty popular. It comes up a lot in group conversations and so forth. A lot of people, every time it comes up, you know, usually somebody will reach out to us and say, hi, hey, how does it do patch panels? And, and you know, and so uh, we're just wrapping up a couple here. In this particular case, uh, we didn't do, because it varies by client, of course, um, we didn't do our normal numbering in this particular case we've got like panel so panel a panel b and at the wall jack the corresponding number like a5 uh, corresponds here to panel a5 you know b10 would be you know b10 so that's how this one is done um and then on top it's just a label reference for us it just helps a lot so in in this case blue happens to be pc or data white voip um Purple printer, AP1, AP2, and access control uplink, and then just your uplinks for the uh, router. <clears throat> so how the 55W does it? It's a it's a pretty nice unit. Um, actually, it's a very it's a very nice unit. I think. Let me escape, get back here, set it up so you can see it. So it comes in a nice case, which is down there. Um, and. Basically, you just hit the patch panel button. Now, there's also a phone app that it'll connect. You can do stuff on your phone, which is really nice. That's the W for wireless. It's wireless to your phone or to the uh, app, okay? In this case, ICC panels, these are ICC, they kind of go, if you notice, that's a little bit longer. So they, they're spaced even in blocks of six, and then you have a little bitty gap. And so if we use 0.69, and typically... To be really clean, you do them in blocks of six or less, and then the spacing would be perfect. Um, as you get past that point that's a little bit bigger, the center separator may not be like directly over the center. It starts to get off, but ever so slightly. So you could theoretically do 12 and it would be fine. And you can also change your, depending on the patch panel, you know, you might be 0.71 or 0.72. So you kind of have to see what works for, for the panels you're, you're using, but that's that's... Easy enough to figure out. They actually have a little card that measures it and kind of tells you a suggestion to use. But you can also, I mean, you could waste a tiny bit, print, you know, a, a row of four or five and just kind of see yourself and dial it in that way. So, um, but in this case, you can see the overlap a little bit. We're literally doing them in six or less to make it uh, fit perfect. And so we have to do uh, AP front, AP back, AP one front, AP two back, and then access control. So how we would do that is it's already on three and you use the arrow keys to navigate. Um, so if I go up, so if I need to change my block length, I do it here. So like I said, four, six, nine seems to work for ICC panels. I go down. If I needed a block of six, I would just bump that up to six. But in this case, we need three, um, four, three, and then you just hit OK. So right there. And then there's already stuff in here. So what I do the quick way is I'm going to hit clear. And I'm not going to do format because it's already set the way I want, just text only. So I hit OK. And that just keeps all my formatting and all my stuff, but it blanks it out. So I've got a blank three labels. And then I just start typing. So we'd say, you know, A, P, uh, you know what, I'm going to use caps for these. So there's shift, there's also just like a caps lock. So I'm going to hit caps and I'm going to say A, P, and there's a QWERTY keyboard, space uh, one, and it looks like that. I'm gonna hit enter, which is gonna bump me to the second line. And then I'm gonna take off caps and I'm gonna say front. Okay, and then to get to the next uh, thing, you basically just arrow over, okay? Now, I know it's gonna fit. It, it has a cool feature where I know it's gonna fit because it didn't flash at me. Let's say I kept typing. Let's say I wanted to say front, area whatever so you know a r e at some point there it is it's telling me now that little black thing popped up around the e saying this is not going to fit so if i tried to print that it would say text is too long basically so and if i go back one so it will do that amount at that font size and everything else and it, the, as soon as i add anything else boom it tells me it's too long so that's kind of a kind of a cool feature in this case it's just, just going to say ap1 front and then i arrow over that gets me to the next block. I'm going to go caps again. I'm going to say A, P, space, 2, enter, and turn my caps lock off, back. And then I'm going to arrow over, and I'm going to say 
a c c e s s space c o n t r o l and if it's too long you could you know c t r l whatever of course abbreviations are your friend here but um and then you just hit print and i'm going to show you what it does uh, i'm going to hit print and it does its thing <clears throat> it does the cutting and all that for you and now this is flex tape i should have used solid tape but i just had flex in it for like the wire wrap stuff so it comes out looking like this it's got a little leader and you can adjust the length of that um it's kind of this particular thing is not we chose it to Oh, I don't know what it's called in here, but you can pre-cut it. You can score it, which is kind of prepping. We like it scored so we can use it. And then you just tear it. This will be off camera a bit, but you just literally rip it off because it's scored. So it's clean and it there's the actual end label. Um, it's got a split back, as you can see, like that, where it's really easy to peel the, peel the back off and stick it. So that's going to go here. I'm going to stick it real quick. That sounded funny, didn't it? Um, set the phone down because I'm recording with it. I've got... I need my hands real quick. I'm going to put this on here, and then I'll show you. And then, yeah, that's pretty much how I'm going to take a couple of these other jumpers off. Give myself some room here. And that's the other thing is you don't want to have all your jumpers in before you label it because it just makes it harder, of course. So I'm going to stick it right there. And then what you're doing really is you're, you're lining up those two dots while you're holding it up here, which I'll show you in one second. Okay, so um, there. So those are labeled now, as you see. And then when you're holding it up there, you know, your hands are going to be in the way because you're holding it like this. So how you center it is just these, these little dividers in the center. Oh, I can't. There we go. Those two lines are centered in between them as you can see on all the things like that so that's pretty much it a lot of people were asking i know it's kind of a boring descriptive video and most people already know this but a lot of people ask me so i figured i'd make a quick video so that's how you how you do the patch panel stuff so once again just hit patch panel all your settings are right there um say okay once your settings are good when you want to do another row just hit clear and you want to do text only because you want to keep your size and your formatting text only. And then you start over and you just start typing again. So it's really quick, the really nice unit. These are rechargeable and this one, they do work like this is being charged while I'm running it. So it's kind of wired uh, or battery operated and or cord operated. It'll charge while you use it. Um, so yeah, that's a brother uh, E550W doing patch panels.